Hi everyone, I'm Charlie, an educator at the North Carolina Arboretum. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the topic of our new field focus badge, those amazing and noisy birds we call woodpeckers. By joining EcoExplore, you too can help scientists to study nature. So let's learn more about those boisterous birds. One thing almost everyone knows about woodpeckers is that these birds sure like to peck at wood and peck and peck and peck. But why do they do it? Most of the time, woodpeckers are pecking to find food, but sometimes they do it just to get attention. You might be wondering, do woodpeckers really eat wood? They don't, but pecking at bark does let them reach tasty treasures that almost no other animals can reach, like this bustling insect city found deep inside the bark of dead trees. Most birds would pass up on this feast, but woodpeckers have amazing natural tools to get inside, like a beak that is sharp and strong enough to cut into wood. Woodpecker bodies also have specialized feet for a sturdier grip and extra firm tail feathers for better stability while climbing and pecking. Once a hole is dug, woodpeckers can use their long tongue, like a fork, to pluck insects from hard to reach cracks. The northern flicker has the longest tongue of any woodpecker. It's so long, it actually wraps around their brain. If yours were as long relative to body size, it would stick out two feet past your face. Keeping up all that head pounding without a massive migraine is another amazing woodpecker talent. We need a pretty big helmet to keep our brains from scrambling if we tried pecking like a woodpecker. Woodpeckers' expert food finding and appreciation for pecking is unparalleled among birds. Seeing this behavior in action is a great sign you've spotted a woodpecker. Oh, there's one! You might also see woodpeckers climbing in and out of dead tree branches. Most woodpeckers build their nests in hollowed out tree trunks, which woodpeckers can dig themselves. Once they're done with these nests, other animals use them too, like bats, flying squirrels, and even owls. It's amazing how many critters can call a dead tree home when woodpeckers are around. Woodpeckers can vary in size, shape, and color. Although most North American species have some black, white, and red feathers on their body, like this red-bellied woodpecker. It's a strange name because most of its red color is on the head, but we can sometimes see red near its tummy too. These birds are the second most common of North Carolina's eight different species of woodpeckers. The most common and the smallest you'll ever see is the downy woodpecker. They average only six inches long and weigh about the same as a pencil. Downy woodpeckers are easily confused with the hairy woodpecker, another native of North Carolina. But the hairy is larger than the downy and has a longer bill. The largest and the loudest woodpecker you'll see in North Carolina is the pileated woodpecker. They get up to 20 inches long and can weigh as much as a soccer ball. Pileated woodpeckers are so large, they need to eat a lot, and they can dig deeper into trees than any other woodpecker to find food. Their forceful foraging sometimes leaves behind these large, rectangular holes on tree trunks. The calls of pileated woodpeckers are some of the loudest in the forest, too. Yep, we heard that one all right. Another species we find in North Carolina is the red-headed woodpecker. Can you guess how that bird got its name? These blushing birds used to be more common in North Carolina than they are now, but you still might find them in their favorite habitats, like pine savannas and other open forests with lots of space to fly. Wherever you see trees, there are likely woodpeckers out there too but there is so much still left to discover about these mysterious airborne carpenters. Check out our next video to learn more about a very special woodpecker, the yellow-bellied sapsucker. 
with ornithologist John Gerwin from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. You'll learn a lot about the birds that made these holes. And remember, good luck, have fun, and keep exploring. <laughs>